Tomorrow, 5 p.m., Guys Mills, Pennsylvania, Lauk's Auction. And we're going to walk and talk about this stuff. It's If it's blue, it's for you type of sale. And here's some of the smalls. This could be a fast auction. It just is. We'll walk over there. But first here, we got a welding table with a vise on it. My advice is to buy the vise. <laughs> chains axles miscellaneous stuff looks like uh something for a little set of discs right there you know things cables chains all right bunch of hoses looks like three cylinders that's a that's a small one decent size right there that one might be good to go um but yeah Hoses galore. Wheels, tires. There's a tank down there, a cement mixer. A fertilizer spreader. Kill bros with an auger. Another wagon. Bale hauler. Got a couple feed wagons. It was raining. Stop now. It's nice. About 71 degrees and sunny. A couple of each and S's here. Like a roller harrow. Yeah. Little feed wagons. <coughs> Here's a John Deere 50 spreader, manure spreader. Brush hog, finish mower, Woods RD 8400. Bale spear, post hole digger. I'm sure you can dig that. three-point hitch fertilizer spreader cattle trailer he's got a 2019 Ram here with the Hemi 6.4 liter three-quarter ton long bed and 11,000 miles on it can't wait to see what that sucker goes for got a new Holland 678 round baler Rakes, disc bind, let's go down, we'll check out the tractors. But before we do that, he's got a little, I believe this is a 350 John Deere. And he's got some new parts and pieces on here. You'll have to go to the WTC Facebook page to find out exactly what. And then New Holland LX665 Turbo. Attachments here. A white 508 semi mount, five bottom. Here is an Industrious America, and I don't know how big that is. Is that 12 foot? The blades look pretty good size. They look like 20s on there, and then they got the tapered ends, so you don't leave ridges. But notched up front, smooth in the rear. It does look heavy duty. I will admit, you know, it's framed up pretty good and stuff yeah the bearings seem real good on it 2232x if you want to look it up yeah there ain't, ain't no shame in those that bearing game there i can't tell are them sealed or yeah they probably are most of the newer stuff is sealed but yeah there you go Industrious Americas. Oh, it's even got the centerpiece here that keeps you from building a ridge in the middle. Of course, he probably put it's just nest tine. There you go. Field cultivator here. And then a brilliant cultivator mulcher. And this looks, I think the flyer said 12 foot, but this is, this is at least 12 foot and it's big. 
I mean, these rollers are really big. You know, you'd want a tractor to pull it, that's for sure, but we know about the brilliance. Got a Case IH, looks like a 5100. Burke Holder equipment over there when he was still in business. Got new marker tires with the knobby still on them. That's kind of nice. So <laughs> he hadn't pulled this a whole lot since he's put those skins on there. Got the international jack and it is straight. <clears throat> All right, hoses look good. Cylinder looks okay. Got your counter on there, 339 and a half. Multiply with 14 tooth grain driven sprocket. Multiply counter by, okay. Yep, another new one here. So they're matching. Got your grass seeder in the back. And some of the hoses are missing off of here, but I suppose you'll have that. Doesn't look like he's used it in a while, but that's all right. Well, he's still got some seed in there. Bonus. 21 hole press wheel. I mean, if you were wanting one of these, this would be fine. Fine, fine, fine. It's got all the, I guess, the bells and whistles with the grass seeder and the press wheels and the new marker tires. Well, here you go, John Deere 7000, four row, narrow, 30 inch, new jack on there. That's dry fertilizer. New skin, newish type skin. You know, I don't mind deer in the rear. I really don't. I know it's not, you know, channel-like of me, but, yeah, I don't mind hearing the rear no-till coulter up there. Okay. So that's what he was doing. He was just no-tilling corn in. I don't know. I'm not a big um, put-the-fertilizer-in-the-bin guy anyway. Because most of the time what happens is guys will put it in there and they don't clean it out and it's it's done. About four or five years of not cleaning it out properly and putting diesel fuel and whatever else in there, it's it's over. But seed boxes look good. Well, I said if it's blue, it's for you. And this is a T6-175. This may be too new for some of you viewers, but it, it is in good shape. We'll come right over here to the Case IH 5230 with the 520 Case IH loader on it. And uh, put new rubber flooring in there. This is a good old loader tractor. Okay. Yep. Pulling stuff around and picking stuff up, putting her down. That's about it. Bortnick tractor sales, at least on the bucket. Kirby pocket. Well, we got a Ford 7600 and load monitor, dual power, front weights, easy on, easy off, bonnet on it, rear view mirror. And uh, these suckers, man, they, they fool you because they ain't very big. But at the engine, this thing will go about 95 horse, probably taper down in the rear to about 85. And that's not unusual. See, so yeah, it's got a little bit of power. You know, a lot of people complain, oh, the Fords don't have the torque the other ones do. Well, then you get a bigger Ford. <laughs> that's pretty much the size of it. But to me, this is the coolest tractor here. Just is, you know. Okay, so let's play the what will it go for game. Um, minimum, minimum. I don't see this thing even thinking about selling for under 10 grand. And it could go as high as $15,000. I do not expect it to go higher than 15,000, but my expectations have not always been correct. But this is a nice machine. You want a 7600, this is about the best one I've seen around. Yeah, it's got Cat 2, the top link. 
and dual remotes. Yeah. Good old honest Abe type tractor. And got a Ford 4000. It's like a little utility version. Chad said something about the clutch might need adjusted, but it is first on race day. Just like that one there. And uh, there's a lot of blue guys on the channel. Blue guys, red guys. There's even some greenies that float around just to throw jabs at me for whatever reason. I, I have no idea, but hey, you do you, man. Just to show you what kind of transmission we're working with. Come around the back. I'm not really checking hours on these. 540. Does have a remote there. There you go there. Yeah, we'll give it a little closer look at this hay mine. Uh, 1412 New Holland. Yeah, he ain't hiding nothing, that's for sure. It's like he's got some definitely newer hay equipment, no questions asked. Yeah, not more New Holland Pro Cart 1022. That's out of Sandy Lake. And then we've already seen this, the 678. Climb up on this 7600. That's the only thing about it. Yeah, even the split console here. You know, there's one thing about Ford, man. They got pretty good sized platform, you know, and the seat sit, it's comfortable. Air ride. Um, well, that's showing 2782. Huh. Is that all the hours that are on this thing? Good grief. I mean, look at that. You got a mirror to make sure you know that you're filming yourself keys out of it but yeah no dual power special got everything right here it's a nice little tractor i can see it's being on a hay operation for sure i like these types of auctions you know what you're coming into they're short they're sweet they're to the point starts at 5 p.m get here a little early get your number um maybe you support a potty it's blue too so that must be for you